I just don't get any of this. Where do I find booze for you? <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Call of Cthulhu! I figured I'd go back to it. Because, you know, why not? I mean, I was done with Painkiller, and this Driver. seems like a... how far did it stop? Almost there. I'll similar. drop you at the town square a bit. A similar enough game. I can always just pause, apparently. Why lock the gates? Keeps out wanderers looking for work. I don't want no folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after her own. Unfortunately, the game latches onto my keyboard due to, I guess, the Direct X window. Stranger, into the line. I guess more specifically, the sort of program that I use to force full screen into windowed mode for older games. It latches onto my keyboard, so I have to alt tab around to mute and unmute my microphone. It's rather inconvenient, but you know. It just means that occasionally it'll go to the main menu because that happens automatically. Hey, buddy. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't help you. Okay. Nice voice you got there. Could you direct me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked at the store. Don't know who you're talking about, Bella. Okay, friend. Wait, what the hell? Chit chat to him's gonna get me no place fast. Yep. Do you know the Burnham lad? He works. Stop pestering me, stranger. Okay, asshole. That's your prerogative, I guess. It won't budge. Excuse me, friend. That way is blocked by a police line. Police line, do not cross. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't say I know what you're saying, stranger. Shut the hell up, man. It won't budge. Maybe it'll budge for him. Or not, he's just wasting his time, too. How would you like to waste time together? Excuse me. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't rightly see as I know him. Well, at least I got an answer instead of just, uh, dismissal. Excuse me, friend. Oh, okay. Ah, you can't come down here. Why not? The police clearly don't want me snooping around. I need to be more careful. Yeah, probably. It won't budge. Darn. Be cautious when sneaking past enemies. Ah, I see. Bingo. This will allow me to slip past him. Without a care in the world. Now I just gotta figure out his patrol route. Darn it. Be my luck. Okay. It's about to say, be my luck. I poke my head out of the shadows just in time for him to turn around and spot me. Don't mind me, stranger. See ya, buddy. Okay, cool. Got past his ass, I did. Now, what's this? Jen's mouth courier. At least this door's unlocked. The door's bolted shut. But unfortunately, the door right past it is locked. Fabulous. What's the point of the first one being unlocked? Just to give you false hope? It's an the window's smashed. I can see what looks like an old dark room. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. 
Now how are you gonna get past it? Oh crap. Damn it. I told you already. Stop your snooping around. You got it, friend. Sorry, it won't happen again. That you're aware of. Damn. I need to be more careful. Yeah, maybe. Be my luck, he just turns around at that point. Dead gummit. Well, it doesn't really matter too much, he just gives me a slap on the wrist. There's something they're trying to keep me from. And I want to know what. I mean, that area, this area is the only way to actually get in. He could just stand watch instead of just wandering around. It would probably be more effective at keeping people like me out, but hey, if he's going to be an idiot and make a patrol route for me to sneak past, maybe that's why he doesn't want to stop me. He's only obligated to stop me. That explains why he's not trying to restrain me or arrest me or anything like that. Okay, get the hell out of here. It's unlocked. What's in here? Objects that can be pushed will have left scratch marks on the floor. You won't be able to move the object if the door it passes next to is open. To push an object, simply move against it in the direction of the scratch marks. Got it. Which means I can... These shelves look light enough to push. Yeah. Now that copper can't go snooping around on my snooping. I'll be able to snoop to my heart's content. Sorry, pal. You bother me too much. Assorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, that's about as centered in the door as it's gonna get. Watch out for medical boxes. They contain all the treatments needed to patch up any injuries. You can apply treatments through either the interface or the quick heal key. Awesome. The Got till's it. empty. Nothing of interest. Of course it's empty. Why did I think I'd get anything out of that? First aid kit, sweet. Okay, what do I need to find out here? Fishing. That's lovely. Sold here. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Yeah. So what's preventing you from opening it? Open it. About to say. It wasn't even on a tinge. Easily open that. A typewriter. Invoices and receipts. Nothing of interest. Hmm. Nothing of interest here. A bottle. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. Wonder what that is all about. Oh, I see. We've got company. Better close the door fast. I don't know what that shift does, if it that's some kind of power. Uh-oh. I need to get the hell out of here. It won't budge. Damn, I'm stuck in here. It looks like I need some sort of lifting handle to get... I do have a lifting handle. Hurry up. About to get found out here. What are they doing snooping around here? Get out! And Damn what it. have you got there? Trying to take evidence from the scene? Hand them over! Well, shit. I found it just Son in time. Of a bitch. What the hell, man? I had just gotten in there, too. What the frick? It activated a cutscene. That should have meant I was in the clear. What an asshole. This is gonna be tougher than I thought. No, seriously, what an asshole. To quote AVGN, wow, what an asshole. There, uh, stay in the shadows here. Uh, nobody here. But us barrels, barrel laughs, uh, some might say. Nee. Get the hell out of my face. You dick. Okay, let's move that in front of there again. And hopefully I'll get out this time. I 
mean, I had already used it to open that trap door. Maybe it'll still be opened, or probably not. I'm guessing no. That cop would not, you know, nope, he would not leave that open. What a dick. Okay, a asshole. Of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. Oh shit. Come on. Hurry up. Get down. Get down, get down. <gasps> oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. That's one way to get down without getting caught. <sighs> Try catching me now. Whoever's down there, you can rock. Asshole. Hey, you can rock hell, too. I can feel the air through holes in the brickwork here. Yeah. So we can get out. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Great. Obviously, I can't get out there the old-fashioned way. Nothing of interest. Wild cherry tonic. Sounds awesome. Assorted foodstuffs. I can feel the air through holes in the brickwork here. Well, how am I going to make use of that? That one's sticking out. Is that um, of any interest? I'm guessing no. A book. It looks like a diary. It's got to have some clues. Probably. The diary of Jack... The diary... A col collation of the general evidence. Mythos, tombs, and manuscripts. The diary of Jack Walters. Missing entries. I'm completely unable to recall what led to my confinement in the Arkham Asylum or what happened to the six years between my two visits there. They told me I had some kind of personality change that night in Boston. They watched me for a while, decided I wasn't dangerous and let me go. After six years, they switched back just as mysteriously. They admitted me again, found nothing wrong, and here I am. Among the personal effects they returned to me is a leather-bound journal. Perhaps it will tell me what I've forgotten. Looking through the journal, all I can find is my life as a police detective. There's no hint of any illness or mental strain or anything else that could explain my change of personality or the equally sudden recovery that still baffles my doctors. However, a number of pages have been torn from the journal. Who did it or why, I can't tell. Did I destroy them myself to suppress some horrific memory? Or did the asylum staff judge their contents detrimental to my treatment? Why was part of my life erased? Why is it that I can't remember and who wants it to stay forgotten? Is it a precaution to protect my sanity or the key to something I need? Wonderful. Well, that was help that was helpful, wasn't it? Just real helpful right there. Let's go for general evidence, I guess. Diary of Brian Burnham. Well, I agree with the locals on one thing. I shouldn't be stuck in this miserable excuse for a town. I can see why nobody comes here, that's for sure. Another slow day at the store. At first, I thought people were staying away because First National isn't local. But I haven't seen anyone going the in, 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 into any of the other stores either. Come to think of it, I haven't seen the other stores open for business. This place is deader than dead. Still, it won't be long before I'm out of here, before... We're out of here. She's the one good thing about In's mouth. We'll bust open old man, wait safe, take a car, and then it's New York City. Bright lights, nightlife, everything. I'll show her all of it. Okay. Thieves have robbed the first natural grocery store in In's mouth, breaking down the door and forcing open the cash register. The newly appointed manager, Mr. Brian Burnham, has been missing since shortly before the robbery. This is a very disturbing turn of events, says Mr. Arthur Anderson, First National's regional manager from his Arkham office. This branch had only recently opened, and First National Grocery had high hopes for success, given the general lack of modern stores and in amenities in In's mouth. The robbery is a def definite setback, and more worrying still is the fact that the branch manager remains unaccounted for. In's mouth authorities cannot be reached for comment. Those of our readers who live near its headquarters and an ordinary-looking Boston residence will need no introduction to the Fellowship of Yith, or whatever the cult's name is. But those who have not encountered this mysterious semi-religious group before, a word, few words of explanation are necessary, since our country's founding upon the basis of religious freedom and shores have been home to many small religious groups outside the mainstream. No small number are headquartered in the stages states of New England, where the pilgrims themselves sought a new world free of religious persecution, but the question must be asked. At what point does a religion become a cult and its trusting adherents, not to mention its blameless neighbors, become victims? That is the question this journal poses in regards to the Fellowship of Yith. In a month-long investigation, our intrepid reporters have diligently sought out the truth behind this so-called church. Its origins are somewhat mysterious, the more so since the group's leaders declined to be interviewed or to assist our investigation in any way. However, it seems that the Fellowship was founded more than 20 years... 
20 years ago by one Victor Holt, based on revelation that he had received from beyond the confines of this world. Holt had not been seen for almost six years. His followers apparently believe that he is communicating with the mysterious powers behind his faith, and that he is shortly to return with some new insights and teachings. All this sounds like a harmless, if eccentric spiritual group, a little different from any others. However, those who make their homes near to the Fellowship's headquarters tell a different, more sinister story. The adherents of this obscure sect are to be found loitering on the street corners, casting menacing glances at their innocence neighbors and frequently engaging in acts of petty crime, which the local police seem powerless to prevent or redress. Strange lights have been observed burning in the windows of the old house at all hours of the day and night. They change color unpredictably and cast weird, unintelligible shadows. Even more disturbing are the noises which have been heard to issue from within the mysterious building. They include chanting, unearthly music, and worst of all, screams like those of lost souls in agony. Many of the sex neighbors are convinced that its services include human sacrifice or similar atrocities. Those few who dared complain to the police were told that because the house is private property, and because there's no concrete evidence of any wrongdoing, the most they can do is file a noise complaint. Are the horrors of Salem being reenacted in our city more than two centuries later? Is this fellowship of Yith engaging in unspeakable and criminal acts of worship involving torture and sacrifice? Why is nothing being done to ease the fear and distress they cost the local community? A source within the police department, speaking on the condition of anonymity, anonymity, tell the Globe that the Fellowship is suspected of involvement in a number of local crimes, but so far the lack of evidence and the reluctance of nervous witnesses to come forward have thwarted any official investigation. Very well, we say. Where the police cannot or will not investigate, the Globe shall continue to act in the interests of Boston citizens, fearlessly exposing the truth about the so-called Church and its followers. Our findings will be published in these pages over the following months, so that all may know the truth. Editor's notice, with great sorrow that the Globe announces the death of reporter Howard Adelstone, who was leading the paper's investigation into the Fellowship of Yig when he apparently drowned in Boston Harbor. The coroner has ruled, ruled his death a sure side. Our condolences go out to his family. Well then. There doesn't appear to be anything else here. Nothing that would actually help me get out of here anyway. Can't see anything of use. I can feel the air through- Nope. The ladders and stairs have collapsed. I'll never get back up. I know. Standard storage ladders. Used for getting things down from higher shelves. Oh, right. Maybe I need to use this for something. I mean, you can push it across here. Maybe that's a clue. Ah, okay, that's... That's, that's something. Ah, I didn't need to use it to get anything. I needed to use it to break down something. Isn't that lovely? Old well, photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. Ah, I'm in here now. Th this... There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here, and they're dated 1846. Huh. Now this is getting spicy. Let's do this thing. Watch out for ammo pickups. Ammo will always carry across for the next chapter, but the quantity you can carry for each weapon is capped. The interface shows the total rounds you're carrying, including those in the gun. Huh, I have a gun now. Awesome. Nope, nothing of interest. You sure about that? The old printing press appears to have been sabotaged. And covered in cobwebs, really. Newspapers lay scattered in molding heaps. Yeah. Uh-oh. Holy shit! Holy shit is right. Nope, nothing of- it's not important. I love how we can sound so calm after that. Nothing of interest. Holy shit! No, nothing of interest. Ah, from the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. Probably. The flooring is badly damaged. Must have been caused by the fire. Looks like she took her own life. Or was at least set up to look like that. Now what? The poor woman must have taken her own life. But why? And when? And how? Nothing well, of interest here. I mean, the how is pretty obvious, okay, but... It when won't and budge. When and why? Hopefully this door can be budged. Some doors you encounter will be bolted on one side. Action the bolt to unlock or lock the door. Door bolts can come in useful when escaping from enemies. Well then. Isn't that lovely? 
Well, as Hello, long as that... Jack. Oh, hey. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. See ya, buddy. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. Yeah, no but shit. I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. Okay, where's that cop? It that, won't budge. My cop is out there somewhere. I'd better tread carefully. Where's the cop just gone? Oh crap. What the hell is that? Let's just get out of here, please. Oh. It's not the cop I should be worried about. You better keep your trap shut. I won't tell him anything. Something's watching over this town. Something sinister. What's going on, buddy? This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. Welcome! <laughs> Where is everybody? It's very quiet. It's getting late, outsider. Folks just know what's good for them are safely both in their homes by now. Oh, uh, okay. Excuse me, sir. These um... odd looking folks seem pretty hostile. They don't want to talk to strangers. What the hell? I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Just leave me be, stranger. It won't open. Yeah, I'll leave you be to public uh, whizzing. Whatever you say, pal. It's locked. It must lead to the back of the variety store. Now where do I go? The sign says, Insmith Poorhouse, in memory of Lady Warns. I see. It won't open. Yeah. Here's an open door. Let's get inside here. This ought to be a safe haven for me. Or a death trap, either or. We'll find out soon enough, won't we? Excuse me. Evening. Hi. The name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> I see. Talking to this fellow's getting me nowhere. Stop your He's more than a touch creepy. And there's for hotel if I need a room, home, I'm desperate. Then I'll come back. Okay. I mean, the music went away. Does that mean I'm safe now? It's locked. Yeah, and, uh, not surprisingly. It won't budge. Oh, it's stuck. It won't open. It won't budge. I decided to quote Duke Nukem from Duke Nukem Zero Hour whenever you try to open a locked door. It won't budge. Hmm, won't budge. Urgh. Oh, it's stuck. Well, the creepy music went away. I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. He worked in the First National. I'm a friend of the family. I ain't heard of the Burnham lad. Right. Well, sorry about that. It won't open. Now what do I do? I don't rightly know what I'm supposed to do from here. Is there somewhere that I can press to figure out 
Okay, let's see how freaking key configuration. Figure out what my current objective is. Show our show our hide weapon. Interesting. Quick heal H inventory I action E. Okay. Can I show my gun? Nope, I don't have a gun to show. Even though I grabbed one, I'm sure of it. Okay, that's weird. Was I actually supposed to go? Oh crap. That cop again. Wait, he's not even trying to stop me anymore. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked Can't say I know what you're saying, Stranger. Whatever you say, pal. I don't give a damn anymore, I just need to go out of here. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't say as I noticed what you're saying, Stranger. Gee, thanks. I'm gonna get the hell out of here if I can. It won't budge. But how do I get the hell out of here? Washington Street? What's over here? I'm almost out of time, that's for sure. With a good wine piping, with a good wind piping early, in the Solomon's Gallant's mouth. I think you've had enough to drink, sir. my boys, these are the joys. Of the noble and the brave, who love a life in the tempest. Strike, Buddy, you've had enough. The home of the mountain wave. When the driving rain of the hurricane puts the lights of the lighthouse out. This guy's clearly insane. And the growling thunder sounds is gone. And who's that there? Who oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name. Though too few years it now. Zadok Allen! Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a young'un. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They did not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Whatever. It won't budge. It's just a trash can. Nothing well, of interest. It won't ha, open. Do you think that's the best? I don't think shit, no, man. We were bold and brave. I can't give you shit, unfortunately. Why can I not save or do anything? This makes no sense. This is bull. Oni. Prologue, um, can you only... Does the game only save in special circumstances? Like in special areas? Okay, uh, quick heal, uh, skip scene. Oh, I can skip scene. Cool. Awesome. I'm happy that's a thing. Okay, I can only save options, the apparently. The old drunkard knows something. I don't think it would take much to get his tongue wagged. It's just an advertisement for the local Methodist church. Well, how do I find some booze for him? Where would I even find some booze? I don't even know. And I'm almost out of time, so... This ain't good, man. This ain't too good for me. Excuse me, does anyone know where I can find some booze around here? Because I need some booze. Chap, chap. It won't open. Give the outsiders some booze. I need some booze, it won't man. Budge. Yeah, nothing's budging around here. Especially not their lips, that's for sure. It won't open. No shit. You're just the master of the obvious, aren't you? Oh crap, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Well, that sucks. Oh, I see. There's no cop anymore. That's fine. But where do I find some booze for this guy? I don't know. Everything is getting crazy around here. Too crazy for me. Let me tell you about it. It's over here. You know, it'd be great if I could save, but I haven't had a save point since I started. No auto save, no ability to quick save, not even a checkpoint. It won't open. 
There doesn't appear to be any way of saving in this game. And I'm all out of time. Excuse me, lady. Evening. Uh, the name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, miss. Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight, this port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. Very well, Mr. Walters. All right, let's hurry up and see what we can find here. This doll seems more open than some folks around these parts, but she isn't going to talk to me right now. Yeah, probably not. I need to find some booze, though. Can't seem to find any booze. There's some booze. But how do I get in there? I'm over my time limit anyway. The haberdashery is closed. There's got to be a f you got to be a way in there. A way that I don't figure out right now. It won't budge. Damn. It won't budge. Well, how do I get anything to budge? That is the big mystery of our time now, isn't it? It's just a trash can. Nothing of interest. Okay, then. Oh, look at that. Just saw the someone. The window looks into some old passageway. It's just a trash can. Nothing of interest. You didn't even check inside of it. How do I get in there? I need to get in there. Need to figure it out. The haberdashery is closed. Indeed. Well, hang tight real quick. I'm gonna try to figure this out. Let's see what we can find from him. Jack, swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella, if a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. I'd never have fingered him as a crook. The First National was a well-run store. A rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Mackie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful oh. what you do. Very careful. Alrighty, then. Innsmouth's a dangerous place. Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty, but I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is going to crack this case. Yeah, unfortunately. An old truck. It's likely owned by the Marsh Refinery. Wait, refinery? It won't budge. Maybe I can find booze in there? I don't know. Can't, it won't open. It won't budge. Of course not. I can't go anywhere, can I? Frick. An old truck. It's likely owned by the Marsh Refiner. It won't budge. Damn it, I can't find my way anywhere. A storage depot. It's shut. And I'm pretty freaking sure. It won't budge. It won't open. That if I quit now, I'm not going to be able to go back to this spot later. Because this game doesn't seem to want to save. The window looks into some old passageway. Yeah. Go figure. Unfortunately, I can't take out my gun or anything. Excuse me. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. Just leave me be, stranger. Stranger. I just don't get any of this. Where do I find booze for you? It won't open. No, I can find some booze? If you pardon my asking, have you lived here in this port all your life? Last thirty-seven years in Old Lady Warren's house. Before that, over by a fishing canary. Can a canary? Old Lady Warren's. You live in the town poorhouse. Go and fetch me a bottle of something to wet Old Zadok's whistle, and I'll tell y'all. Unfortunately, I don't know where to find this booze open. at. I'd love to help you out, but. You're gonna have to help me find this booze for you. What do you say, pal, huh? 
I'm afraid to turn the game off because if I do, it's going to destroy all my progress because this game does not know how to save at all. It's weird. Prologue. Freaking ass. It won't budge. There's no way to save or anything. It's weird. It won't open. Well, hang tight again. Clearly, I'm not too bright, am I? I forgot all about the bootleg rum that I had gotten from the store. All I had to do was click on it. Come on. Gotta remember which mouse is which. There. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young fella. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Okay. Uh, uh. Okay. Thanks, Palsy. I appreciate it. Uh, Apparently he gives you a key. Now you be calling me crazy. Like them that star rumoring an anchor in an lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Mm. Uh, old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that would answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. What's... And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Um, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I seen them. Swarms of them. Look Swarms. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. What's with the wind? Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sounds like passing tornadoes. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Ovid told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? Well. You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. I, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Yeah. Probably. Who knows? It seems this game is not going to be playable in 30 minute segments at all, to say the least. I mean, unless I can somehow cheat. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. Now you want well, just to speak with me? Just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you going to even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly. We don't have much time. You've got to follow me. Okay. Did the game save Jack, yet? Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange. Trust me. I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. 
My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. Can I save my game here, please? I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. Thank you! Holy crap, I can save! And now I can say, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like the craziness in this town, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. I am so happy. Not that I don't enjoy playing this game and checking things out, I just wanted to get it over with already. See you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.